Hey folks, how are you doing? So, uh, somebody requested, and uh, I don't, I think I did it like a shop tour, but uh, a couple things changed, so I want to show you guys. Now, this is my room, this was supposed to be, you know, like a guest bedroom, but I took it over and uh, I made my my room out of it. My <laughs> funny thing was, I started with just small little hooks on the window trim for the for my knives and I ended up <laughs> doing the whole wall of dead have so many of you refer it to <laughs> and even that is already way too full so I'm gonna have to get more pegboard now my kydex here this is where I do the kydex the molding you know I have the press there clamps uh, kydex there I cut it on you know heat gun there this is where I do the molding this is where I do my videos, you've seen that, and where I draw stuff and stuff like that, finish, you know, hand finish, uh, sharpening, hand sharpening and stuff like that. This is kind of like, uh, I build it together, kind of like a simple 2x4 two by, two by uh, shelf, where I have my, you know, work stuff, electronics and stuff, sheets, uh, camping stuff, camping gear, backpacks, you see all the stuff, then some cleaning stuff and stuff like that. A lot of mess, some shipping supplies, uh, some two packages I have to send tomorrow. Still, this is where I, you know, also keep it. Like I don't know, I have such a mess. There's some wood there, my G10 up there, uh, my epoxies, cleaning supplies, alcohol, and all that stuff. Wood treatment, all all that stuff everywhere. <laughs> now. That's where the this stuff happens, the cleaner stuff, without like sanding and stuff like that. I have some another organizer here. I have my nice organizers here with the, all the screws. There's a lot of different screws, a lot of different supplies over there. So that's that. And uh, now the messy room this is gonna be really messy, guys. So it's in the basement. This is my bedroom actually, and over here in like a utility room this is where all the messy stuff happens sliding is gonna suck probably but I have to reorganize this room now I have some stuff that there is really garbage some old shelf that I just felt bad to throw out that's gonna have to go I have my old fish tanks the small ones there it's gonna go all the garbage so I can actually reorganize it put the t uh, build a little table over there probably L shape or L shape like that, either this L or this L, and uh, the my Grizzly 72 by 2 will go there. My drill press currently sitting only on the floor because I just have no space on my old table, and uh, that's gonna get moved around. I still use my 30 by 1 sometimes for the smaller, you know, radiuses and stuff like that. My belts, those are the used ones. Here are the good ones hanging on the on the you know pole. One new addition, pretty important addition, is some of you guys may have seen this when I visited Tough Thumbs. I bought myself the Milwaukee portable Benso. This is the compact one. Saves a lot of work and a lot of material actually. <coughs> it's, it was wasn't cheap. It was two hundred dollars, but uh, I definitely don't regret buying it. You know, thankfully the knives paid off for it. You know. That's, that's actually how I bought most of my stuff. You know, pretty much all the money just keep <laughs> pounding right back to the materials and tools and stuff like that. So I'm not really making much on it, but thanks to that I'm able to buy all these new tools and stuff that I need that helps. So definitely recommend this, it's really good. I still have to make some kind of table for it. For now I just cut it in my hands, you know. <coughs> It's it's not dangerous. It's slow speed, no high high RPMs, so nothing dangerous. But definitely want to make a table for it, so to make it more comfortable and more you know professional. Big strong vacuum. Uh, what else? Uh, vacuum drill press. Uh, use a Dremel. So pretty much what I use is I cut the cut the basic, not even shape. I just cut the pieces of metal into small pieces with a bandsaw shape it with the with the belt sanders the big one and the small one and uh, patterns on the hand on the drill press and with the dremel that's pretty much all I all I use on the on the knives these four what four or five basic tools 
not really need for anything else. I do want to get the better probably from the from some future money that I make on some knives. Probably gonna invest into better drill press because that one is really crap. That was $90 drill press shipped, <laughs> refurbished. So I mean it works, but definitely, definitely want to get better one. So you know, mm, I'll, beside these two things, beside the big grizzly the grinder and the Milwaukee, all of the tools so far were really low. You know, low budget, low, low stuff and. Did a lot of stuff that you know, spend uh, money on the stuff that I didn't need. You know, all the lot of tools that will go to, I'll give it to somebody. Some old belt sander that is crap. Uh, angle, not angle grinder. Angle grinder also crap for me. Uh, table grinder crap. That thing it worked for a little bit, but you know, for the money it was great because it was very very cheap. It was like thirty dollars. This is a metal cutoff uh, wheel. But uh, you know, compared to the Milwaukee, this is so much better. That just takes forever, burns the metal like crazy, you know, and it just takes too much time. And uh, that shit is dangerous, that shit is scary, <laughs> let me tell you guys. So, I hope this helps somebody, you know, like I said, do press, belt sander, Dremel. That's the three basic things. Now, that's a little novelty. And a really good belt sander. It's, that's not even a really good. That's just you know mediocre. But uh, it's for me. It's really good. I'm very happy with it. And uh, that's pretty much what what you really need for knife making. At least I I get around a lot. You know, I used to do knives only with the Dremel 30 by one and the drill press. All that, nothing else for uh, quite a while. That was all th the three tools I was using, and I was doing just fine. You know, I was having fun. So. You know, hope you guys hope you guys find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.